that <laughs> OBS crashed. <laughs> so uh yeah, that happens. <laughs> that was that was fun. <laughs> just come in like talk about that and then just like OBS dies. Oh and now my audio is acting up, so give me a second. I need you to go back to this. There we go. Audio's back there. Game audio needs to also be reset. Oh, there it goes. Good. Now we've got audio back. Perfect. There we go. Audio's back now. <laughs> No, mechanic cat. No. <laughs> but I might. Ha but it will have them. It will have them. And that's the thing. Like I said, when I was realizing that, I was that 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 leads back to like the post I was saying before about. I realized that um, I could do a lot of lewd bad endings, for other other with like other people, other characters. Because along with that comes the whole, like I said, there's the whole, like, shapeshifter thing and also uh, the whole idea of, like, the soul becoming unstable and just going feral. Just going feral and the basest impulses take over. Which, by the way, oh, now that I'm mentioning, now I keep mentioning the word feral. I keep mentioning the word feral. And now I gotta play this song for you because this song slaps. This song absolutely slaps. I really like this Author and Punisher album, but I gotta play this album for you now. We're gonna st we're gonna play a bit out of order because Feral is a good track. It's a really good track, but then we're gonna go back through the rest of it because it's not my favorite track from the album. Feral is good, but it's not my favorite track from the album. My favorite track from this album has to be. Well, you'll see which one it is. You'll see which one it is because we're probably gonna go to that one next because I adore this album. I found this album thanks to Flavorful because he posted one of the songs from it called Do It So Good. That's also really good. It's really, really good. And I feel like more people really need to listen to it as well. But anyways, where were we? Oh, that's right. Planning strikes on Nimreth because we had to leave to... We had to leave Ooze. Because the strike group was heading that way and we didn't want to be there when they got there. Ooh, we could send the paladin in actually, and that would be pretty good for just like donk. We're actually in a good spot where we could just donk the garrison with the paladin. Mm. One second. Please, excuse me, one second. There we go. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. We actually have... Okay, we can do this now real quickly. Watch this shit. One. On the slogger. There goes the slogger. There goes the courageous. Oh, not it's not gone yet, but it's having a very bad day now. I forgot I had the 37s on this as well. Just shred you with shred them with it. <laughs> Friendly fire! Oh, the slogger's still alive. I killed something else. This is. Yeah, I knew I was right. I knew I was right, Tetsu. I knew I was very much right about the avocado chicken soup being good. Uh, well, Mechanic Cat, if you want to know, all you have to do is request it. <laughs> and then, there's a chance you might not recognize it. There's always a chance you don't recognize it, but if you do, I know it's going to have a very interesting effect on you. Search for survivors so we can press gang their crew into service. Search the cabins. 
dismantle that Moloch. I want that. Ah, shit. Lost seven crew. Fleet morale went down, but it's all right. It's all right. We bring the rest of the fleet into Nimrath. Oh, no. So, like, no, like I said, Mechanic, I don't say I didn't warn you. If you recognize this song, I want to see what the effect it has on you is. what that is don't you mechanic cat you know what that is don't you <laughs> oh it's so cursed it's so cursed oh an elderly doyen in the lead you admit the screams and wails a military convoy left the city and if we go and Call sign is Crow. Okay. So intercept Crow and we get money. That's useful to know. What was I looking at here though? Well, first things first is repairs because holy shit. That's, that's not something I like to see. All of that red. Oh, this is also a town that has the ordinance in it. Let's get an aircraft to replace the one we lost. Let's see, what else can we get that would be good? I haven't had to use our KH-15Ps yet, which is really good. They have A-100Ns. If they have A-100Ns here, that would be good. Doesn't look like it, though. They have plenty of guns. And IRST, quick quarters, fire extinguisher, active protection system. A couple of spare aircraft. Some spare zeniths. That leaves us with a decent amount of money to work with as well. So we'll hold on to that. We have... Let's get a third T7 spare. Third T7. That gives me two spares once I put this one onto the, air, onto the carrier. It's 10 hours repair. That's acceptable. 10 hours is an acceptable repair time. Then, let's see. No Tarkan here. What about supplies? Do they have anything good in the supplies? More air-to-air -air missiles, but I got plenty of those. A 300 millimeter incendiary that nothing in the game uses. Like, seriously, nothing in the game uses this. I, I, I don't know why this, hop, why this keeps popping up. It's a, it's a completely cut asset. It would be funny to actually put it to use, but yeah, no, I, I, it's, I don't have, there's nothing in the game that uses it, so there's no point. Aircraft missiles, we still have like 33 of them. Do we have anything here? We, we have 180 millimeter laser guided. Oh, those are really valuable. We want to hold on to those because those might actually be useful later. We've got a ship with 180s after all. And the laser guided rounds are really good for bullying certain particular ships. So if we find ourselves in a bad situation, they might come in handy. Mm. Let's see here then. They weren't in Jaffa. They're not in Nimrath. They might actually be in Jaffa. Ugh. I need fuel. Shit. I need fuel. I need fuel. I need fuel. I need fuel. Let's get enough to get to Tushan. That way, in case Jaffa isn't where we need to go, we aren't completely helpless. Check our radio intercept. Well, let's see. Is this going to be the point where they start encrypting their transmissions or not? Yep, this is where they start encrypting them. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you got scared, Limey. That's okay. That's okay. I'll keep you safe. Don't worry. 
I'll kill the mo I'll kill the bad monsters. Don't you worry about that. Yep, they're encoding their communications. Let's see here. It's four letters, so it's not Ingle, thank God. Let's see if that's Crow. W. C. Yeah, I think this is Crow. Yep, speed one ton. Course west northwest. Crow. They're coming from this way. They're heading west northwest, which means they might be heading to Tushan, actually. Ooh, if we had the fuel, we could go and intercept them right now. Ah! If we had the fuel, we could go and intercept them! Damn! Damn it! Ugh. Oh. Because they're in, like, Saidi or further down. They might be a Kush, actually. Ugh. Just realized that. Let's draw a quick bearing line here real quickly. We'll draw a bearing line. Yeah, they're probably in Kush. Okay. Mm, damn it. They're probably in Kush. And let's see. What's this newest? Dude? What's this new signal? I do like that. I, I do like that they put an attempt into doing the code breaking on this where you find, like, the caster. My route Tushan Abad. Jeff. Tushan, Abad, Uruk, Suva. No passengers. Be ready to provide fuel. Ah, they are going to Abad. They are going that way. That's Crow. Mm, let's go give. Let's go give Crow a nasty surprise. What do you say? Sector search. Point the radar in that direction. Let's start sweeping. Yes, yes, yes. I understand, General, but we have enough fuel to reach Tushan, so it's fine. Warning. Radar emission detected. Oh, no. Shit. Now we don't have enough fuel to go anywhere. We don't have enough fuel to go anywhere. This is bad. This is bad. This is actually very bad. We're in a very bad spot right now, actually. Polaris, expect in 10 hours. My route, Abad Uruk Suva. Shahira, Sharihan. Cargo electric equipment, expect soon. Kite. This is not the situation we wanted to be in. It's very much not the situation we wanted to be in. Paladin has no range to reach. Aardvark has no range to reach. Sevastopol could, but it'd be a one-way trip, and we would be putting ourselves in some serious danger by doing so. But it's the only way we're going to make this work. Stop here. Where's that radar coming from? Bearing 150. All ships in area warning. Range. Oh, we fucked it up. Oh, <laughs> I really want to stay at your house. Okay, I could do that one for you, Mechanic Cat.
Oh, we're really, we're kind of pissing them off with this though. Ah, the intercept of both of them. But now we know what that is. Yay! Can any of these potentially reach? Not you. Not you. Ugh. Gonna have to go back and pray that I'm still in town. Actually, I forget, Tetsu. That's a. Oh, God damn it! God damn it! Ugh. We can't load because we never stopped at a fleet HQ! Because that's why we went this way to begin with! Oh. Can any ship possibly. No. No, no, it can't. Okay, none of these ships can reach town. None of these ships can reach town. This is a game over. This is a game over. Lovely. Yep, yeah, nope, this is game over. This is game over. Oh shit, I accidentally closed the thing. I accidentally closed. I didn't want to close the game. I just wanted to go to the menu. Urgh. God, though. That was, that was embarrassing is what that was. That was embarrassing. Urgh. Should have thought about that. Should have thought about that. So that's a game over. And Tetsu, I'm gonna make you eat. I'm gonna make you drink that guacamole shake. You threatened me with it. Now it's my turn to turn. Now it's my turn to reverse that. The tables flipped. Now we got all the coconuts, bitch. Will you still want to drink it when I add those Carolina Reaper almonds to it? Answer, answer that. Ask yourself that question, Tetsu. <laughs> sure, it has dairy now. <laughs> oh. Mm. So. That's how long we lasted with the Sevastopol. That's how long we lasted with the Sevastopol and no large carriers. You know what now though? You know what now though? I'm now it's time for now it's time to start killing American style. It's time to start killing American style. And that means <laughs> Where are you now? You And do I want you? Do I want 24 or 36 aircraft? Mm, this is the hard part. Let's go for 24. 36 is a bit excessive and means that we res we limit our resources. So, what else can we do here now? We got 128k to work with. Get one other ship. That'll leave us with 84, 85k for resources. That'll work really well. Yes, 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 yes. You, thank you. Look in the pot, get the ointment. We know the situation now. And, hey, we managed to last two hours before I started cheesing the game. I don't know if that's a record or not, but I'd say it's an improvement. Da 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 Da, 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 away, my boys, anchors away. Don't remember. Oh, God. I actually want to look, I want to look at the lyrics for anchors away now. Uh, well, to the shore, drink to the foam. 
Until we meet again, here's wishing you a happy voyage home. Anchors away, my boys. Anchors away. Farewell to foreign shores. We sail at break of day of day through our last night ashore. Drink to the foam until we meet again. Here's wishing you a happy voyage home. And now it's time for carrier ops. <laughs> Chevron. First things first, what kind of ordnance can we get? What kind of ordnance can we get for the aircraft? Bombs and rockets. 100 kilos, but I'll take them. Rockets, too. Give me everything. 130 laser guided, armor piercing, 130. Mm. How many 130 laser guided do you have? Enough is the answer. Aircraft. All aircraft, prepare for strike. My heart, my heart kicks down my heart. I always got the cops coming after me. Custom bill back doing 103. My heart, my heart kicks down my heart. Bombs away. Pickle, pickle. Oh, wow. These 100 kilo bombs are terrible. Whoa. Yeah. Kicks down my heart. Print. Stop. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah! Kicks down my heart, pray it never stops! Whoa! Yeah! Destroyed. Baby! Yeah! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and this is what I mean when I say large carriers are cheese. Large carriers break this game in the most hilarious way. Kickstarter my heart. Getting used to this. The blessing. Let the people. Yes, faith time. <laughs> faith go burr. Faith go burr. What do you got for me? Oh, you have the good bombs. I'll take your entire stock. Stop my heart, it never stops. Wow, yeah, baby, yeah. Nothing useful here. Okay, fuel. We need to go far west of Ur, which probably means Yezid. Let's get enough for Ashdod, and then we'll go from there. Bow, bow. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I'm like, I'll, I, I only lasted to a game over until I whipped out the carriers. <laughs> oh, I am disgusting. I am disgusting. I am filthy. What do you got for me? Going 110, heading north northwest. No passengers. Re re refill required on arrival. Mirage. They're going from Octog towards Mari. I don't know what the route's going to be from there. They could go to Abad or Kila. But beyond that, no clue. Baby. Whoa. Yeah. Kicks down my heart hope it never stops. Whoa. Yeah. Baby. What do we got? New contact. New radio contact. Let's see what the signal says. Caster, going at speed 110, flying southeast. Wire on arrival, 70 tons wire. You can supply Ingle. So, we don't know what Ingle is this time around. It's coming from Kila, though. They're going southeast, which means they're going to Mari.
We could go to Nimrod. No. Let's go to uh, let's go here. Park ourselves off Ashdod. Aircraft, air group, prepare for strike. Now we start hunting the strike groups, by the way. Now we start actively hunting the strike groups, by the way. This is where things get spicy. Kill confirmed. Oh, we only got one of them, though. We only got one of them. Because we ran out of bombs. <laughs> Ugh. Air group's back. Let's see what we can do here now. We could send the Aardvark ahead to finish the job, actually. And that would let me get salvage. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to send the Aardvark ahead, and it'll finish the job. dodge there at the end absolute clutch dodge there at the end yes 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 survivors we can press gang them into service then let's see probably have enough time to secure the fuel as well so we press gang the crew into service and we got fuel good let's see now we bring in the rest of the fleet and where does that put us in terms of fuel situation? We're going to need more to get to Yezid, that's for sure. Insurgents. The doyen who greets you after landing tells you about a group of soldiers loyal to the governor. These insurgents must be hiding somewhere in the mountains nearby. Ships on high alert. Increased dot. No rest. Ugh. Uh, at least our morale is high, though, so rest is not that big of a deal for us, thankfully. Supplies. What do you got for me? 100 kilogram bombs, aircraft, 122 millimeter rockets. Mm, I have enough 122 millimeter rockets for right now. Mercenaries. Nothing here I actually really care about as a thing. What's a Meteor Mark III got on it? 100 mil 200 millimeter mounts. The Jaguar has a twin 180 and missiles. Yeah, nothing here I care about. So let's just buy fuel and head for Yezid. And then from Yezid, we'll probably be able to work from there. Let's get enough to get to Adra, actually. That way, in case the Tarkans and Adra will be fine with that. Mm -hmm. Refueling. Complete. Good. Park ourselves north and east, northeast of Yezid. And prep for strike. Let's think here. Last time. Last time we wasted our ordnance on. All of our ordnance on one ship. So let's send in two packages of rockets. That'll probably be a much more efficient allocation of ordnance. Yep, there's one down. And they might not be able to get the other one, but they'll at least damage it, softening it up for the next group. Kill oh no, they got the kills! They got the kills! Air groups, RTB. Fleet move in. Good. Any Tarkan here? No. No, there isn't. Okay. What about shipworks modules they got? Ooh, spare T7s. Very important. A carrier lives and dies by her aircraft, after all. And we wanna So we wanna keep plenty of those going in case we need them in case we need them. 
spare aircraft are going to be incredibly important for us going forwards. parts on us do wait that's interesting so we're gonna buy a lot of these because we're gonna need them it's gonna take a chunk out of our finances but that's fine what about fuel we have enough to get to Adra let's add enough to get to Gaza that'll work go. Tarkan far west of Ur probably means they're in Adra or it's a hidden city, which would be Al-Sahir. And Al-Sahir can be an annoying little shit sometimes, so I really hope it's not Al-Sahir. Rocket strike on Adra as before, because the T7s are really good at this. Holy shit. Like, I'm impressed at how good the 122mm rockets on the T7 are at popping garrisons. Okay, there's still one garrison ship intact. We'll probably send in the Aardvark to finish that off. And that'll be... A way for us... No, that'll, that'll get us... That'll get us to Adra. Ballistic is in the air. That's not really going to help them. Like I said, did not really, didn't really help them that they were already in the air by the time I started shooting when I got here because they had already taken enough damage. They probably didn't have anything to fight back with. Just thought about that. Ugh. Secure that ammo now. Okay, good. Bring the ship in. Bring the fleet in. And let's see if this is where that Tarkan is, shall we? Let's see if this is where that Tarkan we were looking for is. No damage yet, which is really good, by the way. Holy shit. This is going to be Omar Khan. Mm. No reaction. Good. Give him the pot. And that gives him two stars in alliance, which will be really good for us. And there's another Tarkan far northeast of here. Jaguar Mark II. Let's check the specs on the Jaguar Mark II now. Is this a ship I want to keep or is this a ship I want to ditch? What's your speed? 210. Pull your armor off. How much faster does that make you? Pull your armor off. Replace your hull. So that you still have the missiles on board. three hours and then maybe we can put some more put some lighter armor up here maybe oh, we don't have any of the flat pieces shit we only have the large flat pieces oh. but it's fine we'll make it work we'll make it work does bring our speed back down, but it is a slightly more efficient configuration, 222. So it's not quite as slow as it was before. That's it. That is an improvement. So we'll go with that. That's actually not bad. So I can actually make use. I can make use of this ship. Cancel now. Hmm. How much fuel do I have? They said far northeast of here. 
which would likely be Golbagaz or Karkamish. So... One here. Actually, there's three it could be. It could be Golbagaz, it could be Tabal, or it could be Karkamish. Mm, this is actually kind of tricky now. So we got three spots it could be. We've got three spots it could be, and I don't know which one is the most likely. Although I'm leaning towards Tabal. I'm leaning towards Tabal being it because it's the most just straight northeast. After that, it's probably going to be Karkamish. So it's probably either going to be Tabal or Karkamish. Let's get that out right now. Golbagaz is closer, and they said it's quite far. So let's get enough fuel to go to Tabal, and that'll actually kind of dictate what we do from there. Also, Tabal is a fuel depot, which is really good. It's going to take us a while to get that fuel going, but it's fine. We have repairs that need to be done anyways. Okay, so, as before, bring ourselves into, like, an intermediate zone where we can sit in, sit there and wait. Sit there and deploy, sit there and perform carrier ops. Ugh. Let's see here, then. What's our air group status right now? It's still pretty good. Okay. 122 millimeter rockets are going to need replenishing soon. Keep that in mind. We can make it pretty extensive use of them I suppose. Also, more music. Let's think here. What do we want to put on in the background? Let's go put it in the background. That'd be good. Mm. What would be like good background music for the fact that we've just like completely said fuck it and we're going all in on the mm. Ah, I know it would be good. I know what would be good. I didn't even realize, why didn't I think about this? Why didn't I think about the Freebird solo? Uh. I can't change. Lord, I can't change. Won't you fly free? But yeah. <laughs> oh, there they go. Boom. <laughs> oh, the timing of that was almost perfect. I might not have even needed to pause that. And let's make it worse for them. It comes the cruise missiles next. Two launch. Missile Cruise missiles, two away. Have fun. The enemy has been destroyed. And here comes the next one. Smile for the birdie. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was just cheese. That was just cheese right there. This entire fleet, the, the entire strat behind this fleet is pure cheese. So this entire population comes to greet you. Messenger from the Doyen. Pay the Doyen a visit. Let's go. Let's see what he's got to say. What manner of treasure? Ah, it's a coda. Let's rock. My servant shall arise. Disfigured? He shall astound many a nation. Call it a miracle! Let's run that faith! Let's run that faith! Pyotr Shaheen. Imlan Harish. Oh boy. No Tarkan here, though. No, 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 no. Yeah, fuck it. We'll save it. Fine. That'll get you to stop complaining about it. 
So it wasn't here. I swear, if it was Golbagaz, if it was Golbagaz, I'm gonna flip. Mm. Aircraft ordnance. We want all of those. And these. And we're going to have to actually start using things other than our carriers so that we can get salvage and, uh, <laughs> and pirate. We, we have, so we have salvage and piracy. Oh, uh, we're getting ahead of, we're getting a little reckless here. I love free birding the, <laughs> I love tossing carrier aviation and strike groups and such, but it is a very expensive way to wage a war. Speed 110, flying northwest. Need on arrival, liquid, whatever. 11,750 meters wire. Weather, wire whether you can supply. Oh. What do we got next? What's the next message? There we go. What do we got for me? Orion, north, north, west, north, northeast. Cargo uranium concentrate. Kite. Whew. All right. You know what? Let's see if it was Golbagaz. Let's see if it was Golbagaz because the intel will also be useful. And you know what? So that we can get the salvage off of it, we're going to send in the Aardvark. Have it actually fight the garrison. Well, I say fight. But it's just going to destroy it on the ground. Who am I kidding? One down. Two down. <laughs> God, I love this thing. God, I love this ship. It's so basic. It's so straightforward, but it's so effective. It is a blunt instrument. Fuel tanks. You. And you. Report to indicate unknown Girati Tarkhan, an area far northeast of Golbagaz. Armed escort mandatory for all ships when navigating the area. Oh, God. Lethal Company is one of those games that it's okay. Lethal Company is actually really fun. Also, I got a question to ask you, partner. Are you using either of the loot, uh, either of the loot bug mods? Because like everybody knows the Yippee, like the Yippee one was like the Yippee one's been really popular for a while. And I'm not saying this one's like super obscure or nobody knows about it because it's also pretty popular. The Dracula Flow loot bug mod is so funny. The Dracula Flow loot bug mod is so funny. I, I gotta show you this. I gotta show you this now because it's so fucking good. Where are you? There you are. I need you to be there. And watch this. Watch this. It's 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 so perfect. Moving diff lucrative. I'm moving different. She, I really did it. Really him. And he's petting all slime. <laughs> Let me get out the. Oh God, Dracula flow. As soon as I actually watched Dracula flow, as soon as I actually watched Dracula flow, it was a like a moment of realization for me. You know that scene from. Bees can shock you to death and care. Yup. Yup. Bees are very dangerous. Bees are very dangerous. And yeah, no, if you're carrying like a big metal screw or something, you see it sparking, drop it immediately. Drop and run. <laughs> you see sparks, drop and run. That is like one of the first lessons. I remember that was like one of the first things we learned. I learned while I was playing Lethal Company. Who was I playing it with? 
I was playing it with, I think it was with Slepnir, Pecan, and somebody else. Who was it that I was playing? Who else was it that I was playing it with? It was me, Slepnir, Pecan, and someone else. But who was the other person is what I'm trying to remember. Uh, was it Witness? Maybe it was maybe it was Witness or it wouldn't have been Colt. Mm, I don't remember who it was. I don't remember who it was, but I remember that was like one of those moments we had. Oh, no, 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 no. I have the clip of it. I can go watch the clip of it and that'll tell me who it was. I know the clip to use that'll actually tell me which one it was. Uh, dog didn't like the song. This one, it was Leon. It was Leon. That's who it was. It was me, Slep, Leon, and Pecan. And we were all playing, we were playing Lethal Company, like I said. And <laughs> that was a good moment. The best moment from that collab, the best moment from that stream was when we were all standing on the back of the ship singing California Girls and then out and then out came one of the Isla's dogs. That was a brilliant moment. That was an absolutely brilliant moment. So they're not in Golbagaz. But we got Intel now. Let's see. Strike group tack. Strike group is in Timnath and Ingle is still their call sign. Emir is in Timnath Sarah, I should say. Oh, that's dangerous. That's really dangerous because I don't know what the rest of Ingle's route is. We got a couple options here. I'm thinking about. We got a couple options here. And any of them will require us to land in Golba guys and get fuel. So let's do that real quickly. Also see if they got more aircraft ordnance for me. Also, remember we're in the big, we've got the big carrier now. We've got the large carrier. Cause I had that game over when I was like saying, oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna try using the Sevastopol. Cause that went really well. That went well. And I just could not resist my impulse to cheese, I guess. I couldn't resist my impulse to cheese. Ah, screw it. Let's move up. Prep for carrier ops. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? 50 to 79 megahertz. Got it. Let's directionalize now. Oh. Speed. Course speed unknown. Course northwest. That's from Ingle. Okay. Air aircraft prep for launch. Seriously though, a lar like just building a large carrier is a hilarious way to just break the game over your knee. It is com it is completely unfair what a big carrier does to this game. Just having a single big aircraft carrier completely breaks the game and it's hilarious to watch what how it does because you can like i said you can go around hunting strike groups you can go around hunting strike groups which you're normally supposed to run away from or try to avoid or at least try to avoid ah that was a trade convoy what's our fuel situation looking like if we do that we might actually be able to make it their speed is 88, so we're going to have to do a little interception here. But if we can do it... Attention, Roger, visual contact. Okay, fine. We're going for this prize ship, so we'll be able to get it. Hi! Thank you! Prize ship is unescorted. Even better. And hey there, Dr. Anime! How are you doing tonight? How are you doing tonight? Can I take this back to a city I already already captured? That's the next question. Ooh, I could. I could take this to Golbagaz. Visual contact. Ah. 
escort came out to grab them. Oh, that's the garrison ship. There we go. Continue. So that's salvage from you. Let's see, fuel. Warning, radar emission detected. Where's it coming from? It's coming from there. It's coming from that way. I know what that is. I know what that is. Okay. Let's see, disassemble the hull. Good, now we got parts to work with too. Where is that coming from? Bearing 30, which means it's likely There we go. Yeah, we have to pop into Thermal signature detected. Yes, yes, yes. Thermal signature detected. I'm aware. And I know they're very close. Attention, new target on the radar. That's Ingle! Let's go! Time. Time to time to take the first shot. Oh God! Eight a.m. Where you are? Damn, that's actually really interesting. That's kind of that must. That's super early. I don't like getting up that early though. Like, I mean, you do you, but man. Oh, I know the one you. I know the one you mean, Tatsu. You mean this one? Actually, let me make this one even better for you, Tetsu. Let me make this one even better for you. Let me make this one even better for you. Since you mentioned that song, I got to play this now to go with it. Yeah, no. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Instead... a bit much though i love that co i love that i love that post though the embrace the dwarf pill post it's so good it's such a good post first group's going in let's see what kind of damage they inflict Oh, uh, we lost one, though. We got spares, though. That's good. Speaking of pill, that over... Oh, God. Blood pressure medicine scares me. I've mentioned this before, Kakasa, but, like, blood pressure medicine legitimately scares me because it's like, it'll kill you if you eat... If you, it'll kill you if you eat the wrong fruit. It'll kill you if you forget to take it. And sometimes it'll just kill you.
It'll just kill you for the kill you for a laugh. Oh, we're gonna need to get more spare aircraft. Oh, we got one of them! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good right there. Yeah, we got one of them. That's going to make them reconsider their... That's going to make them rethink things. That's going to really make them rethink things. They're still advancing, though, so... Send them the next group. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Da, da, da. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Yeah, like I said, yeah. Yeah, like I said, they scare me. Blood pressure meds legitimately scare me. We're gonna find this damn Tarkan, though. I don't know where they are, but we're gonna find this damn Tarkan. You're approaching me. Huh? You're approaching me. Get bombed. You're a big, slow cruiser. Have some bombs. God, imagine this game actually let you, especially if they've been damaged or something like that, let you basically do the equivalent of, I'll, get, I'll pay you $100 to fuck off. <laughs> that, that would be funny. That would actually potentially be kind of funny. This strike group is having the worst day, though. I just watch, like they're chasing, like they're coming at me and such. But they are having the worst day, the worst day, because I'm just pestering them. I'm just pestering them with aircraft bombs until they leave. It's costing me a few aircraft, but I've got the aircraft to do it. though that's for sure and of course they're radio they're broadcasting my position this, this whole time which is gonna make things annoying <laughs> didn't lose any aircraft from that and hello there merlin thank you for the raid what were you up to what were you up to merlin armored core six question 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 uh, so you're you're fighting Balteus. Are you playing it vanilla or modded? Because I mean, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna toot my own horn here and shill a bit. I have been ah, you've been playing vanilla. If you ever want to try an Armored Core six, if you ever want to try modded Armored Core, I have a real I I have a regulation mod that I have been working on for a while. That is, shall we say, it makes the game very interesting. Because the whole, like the entire thing it does is it decompresses the combat ranges and massively increase it massively increases bullet velocity, decompresses the combat ranges, and it makes enemies, makes like fodder enemies a lot more threatening. It also does some big significant weapon rebalancing because, especially at launch, at launch, we both remember you remember what did you play at launch if so you remember what the zimmerman was like at launch the absolute menace that thing was in a lot of situations how it basically just dominated the entire pvp meta for months and it was the worst build too like it was it would be one thing it would be one thing if the zimmerman build that was dominant was fun to play the Zimmerman build at, if the Zimmerman build at launch that was dominant was fun to play, that would be one thing. It was the most unfun build to play at launch. Because you, okay, so here's what it was. Here's what the build was. You built the heaviest quad you could get away with, with the big coral generator, dual Zimmermans, and dual act missiles. And what you did was you popped off the dual act missiles before you approached. You, you assault boosted in, fired your Zimmerman's, and then kick spammed them to death. I don't think, no, no, Tetsu. It, was, it wasn't it was stun needles. It was the dual twin act missiles. 
It was the the two dual act the dual act missiles. You brought two of those. You you sent me the build, Tetsu. You remember that build, right? Stun needles were a problem too, but this shit was obnoxious. This build was obnoxious. The act needles pre homing, the act missiles pre homing nerf, yeah. Also, like, let me show you. So, let me show you actually. Th this is a build that I used for a while. It is objectively bad in the PvP meta. I don't know if it, I don't know if it's any better now, but at the time, the last time I played PvP, this was a terrible, terrible build as far as meta went. This is a slightly updated version of it, but I just gotta say, this is, it is an aesthetic. It is an aesthetic build. I'll say that much as well. I just like the way this build looks. It's not very good in terms of meta, but it looks good. Like, I, I, I may be biased. I may be biased about this build. Not really, Dr. Anime. I didn't really have much of a hard time beating the story. What I had a hard time with, what I had a hard time with was just PvP. The PvP just did not feel good. It didn't feel good. I don't know how it feels now, but when the last time I played PvP, PvP didn't feel good. Yeah, no. I am... Uh, this is another thing. I am drawing a lot... This is a this is like this is a build I'm also gonna be this this build I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna be drawing a so for the raiders by the way you can call me Furo I am an armored soul suffice to say, suffice to say yes this this body this is a body that my soul has been put into after an incident let's just put it that way also for those of you who also you, you might have missed this Merlin I am actually working on a redesign i'm actually working on a redesign because whilst i do like some of the aspects of the overall thing of the overall look particularly the tail and the wings the head and the arms in particular have always kind of bothered me I, i'm just gonna be like honest with you the head and the arms always kind of bothered me because i want to go to like hands that look like they could actually hold a weapon that's the first thing i want hands that look like they could hold a weapon Rather than just, you know, like, big, big claws that, well, like that. But also, the head. The head is the other big thing I want to I want to alter. I showed this earlier. You can see it when you look at my Twitter profile as well. The the way I want to change that. The way I want to change the head. Yeah, no, no, no. I like, big meaty claws are nice, but I really, really like are, like, sharp claw fingers that still look like they could hold and operate a firearm. That's really what I like. For example, the Nox Dryer hands in AC6, those look really good to me. As for the head, well, this is what I want to do with the head. This right here. I want to add in like teeth, a mouth, possibly even a tongue, and some other features like that. Yes, Yowie hands. God damn it, Mechanic Cat. God damn it, you're not wrong about Yowie hands. <laughs> but like, seriously. I am definitely going towards like Ava vibes. I'm very much going towards Ava vibes with what I want to do with the design in the future. And that's the plan now. That's the plan, partner. That's the plan. Emphasizing the fact that it's let the emphasizing the fact that I'm kind of leaning more into not so much being a machine, but like I said, being Armor that a soul, armor that a soul has been embedded into. That's the idea there. All right, you know what? Let's ball. Well, 
Where are you, ugly? There you are. Hello. Oh, thank you, 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 thank you. <laughs> the free bird is blocking the screen. You saw nothing. Into the fuel tanks. They're on fire, ammo's exploding. They're having a bad day. Let's make it worse. funny but it also very much assumes that okay so i'll say this much about what seth said about this game makugasa he was dead wrong when it comes to how like, how different shells work he completely underestimated incendiary shells for example incendiary shells are incredibly good for fat shaming for fat shaming cruisers it's so funny. It's incredibly funny how good they are for bullying cruisers. Land the Aardvark, because it took a beating. Like, he's talking about, like, well, isn't the fuel tank enough to, like, do that? You would be surprised at how much bullying you can do with incendiary shells. Because what incendiary shells will do is they'll get in under the armor. They'll get in under the armor and start fires on the ship's insides. So if you're dealing with, like, a heavily armored ship, they're, like I said, they're a great way of bullying a cruiser. down got that nice 38 percent repair bonus uh, gathering relay station send in the radio operators um no tarkan here either okay i was kind of hoping this is where they'd be not in Karkamish. They might be in Timnath Sarah then. What do you got for me for aircraft ordnance? 180 procs. I don't need those. Sell those off. 220 incendiary. I don't need those. So I can sell those off. 122 rockets. Give me. Okay, next thing, like I said, okay, where I got fuel, where I got our fuel purchase allocated. Like I said, we're gonna find this tar can. And that's probably what we're gonna call it for the night. We're probably gonna call it for the night once we find this damn tar can. Next strike group is located where? Imgur and Leo, and they are headed straight for me. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh god, I've seen like posts like that, Dr. Anime. That was actually that's like the goofiest shit. Like who would win? Elsa or Mazinger Mazinga Z Dr. Hell? Mazinga Zetto. Okay, park ourselves off outside of the town, like I said before. Now that we're out of town, we can do some funny business. We can actually do some funny business now. Oh, we didn't repair anything though, shit. Hmm, we're gonna really have to rely on our aircraft here is what this means. 
Mm. Yeah, let's do that. One bomb, one with bombs, two with rockets. That way, at the very least, we'll probably get in an early kill. Wow, they just dumped everything on him. They just dumped everything on him. Absolute destruction. Hmm. This is going to start getting costly, though. Like I said, really got to start thinking about going in with actual ships. Let's send in the Jaguar. We've got this thing. We kept this ship. Let's make it earn its key. One away, where's the second one? Let's see how much of a... Ah, missed. This is a twin 180. Oh god. No wonder it does so much damage. Boom! <laughs> oh yeah, no, this thing is definitely this thing is definitely a good idea to hold on to. Let's see here. Fuel. Zenith. Hull. Ammunition. And then we bring in the rest of the rest of the fleet. Well, let's see if this Tarkan is here. Are you here? Yes, you are. Oh God! Finally. Unlike the rest, black full body suits fur trim. Oh, it's Duchess EC. Dutch is easy, Dutch is easy, Dutch is easy. What is her view on things? What was her view on things? I'm like I said, I'm being a little scummy and kind of like actually looking at a guide and such. Mm. Let's try something reckless here. Ah, pleases me to hear this. Faith. Faith actually worked to my advantage here. Mm. Order always positive, faith always positive, fear always positive. Put that in mind. Ah, shit. We got it back, though. We got it back. Good. No response. And talks. And one to the northeast of here. But, like I said, this is where we're going to call it for the night. Because, oh, man. I didn't last. I lost it maybe an hour <laughs> before I defaulted back to my usual tactics of big carrier. <laughs> and let's, so let's see who's on, shall we? Let's see who's on. Just go say hello to Vanille. Koki's playing God Hand. Mm, Vanille is playing a Zelda game. Which one? Ocarina of Time. Paladin's playing FTL, which is kind of similar to this game, so that could be a thing. Mm hmm. Let's go say hi to Paladin. Let's go say hi to Paladin. Yes, the children yearn for Pacific War. You know what? That's the raid message, Merlin. That's the raid message. Thank you for that. Let me make sure he's not wrapping up before I raid. So let's go see how long he's been going for. See if he's going to raid out because that would be awkward. Been going for five hours. No, he's not raiding out. Okay. So let's go say hi to Paladin, shall we? As always, if you aren't already, you can follow me on Twitter 
there. Join me on Discord. And I've also, like I said, I've also been kind of working on trying out Gilded because I want to see what it's like in comparison to Discord, particularly because it does, it lets you do a lot of stuff that Discord has paywalled. And I think that's actually really nice. So if you want to give that a try, you can find me there. I think one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to host at least one movie night this month on Gilded to see how that goes. So if you want to go there, you want to be there for that, that's where you can find it. But like, like Merlin said, the raid message, the children yearn for Pacific War. And that's the raid message. And with that, I say to everyone here, thank you for joining me and good night.